I recently purchased the Haikunt 500 watt solar powered outside light and in the couple of weeks that I've had it up and operating I've been experimenting with the uh, remote control uh, as well as exchanging a couple of messages with the customer service at Haikunt to try and understand the operation of the light a little better. And on this video, what I'm going to do is walk you through the operation of the remote control. Okay, I've come inside where we don't have to deal with wind noise. And uh, I just want to quickly walk you through the buttons on the remote control. The first thing I want to point out about this controller uh, in general is that it is infrared. And there's a receiver for the remote control and the light. Now, in general, your light is going to be several feet off the ground. So when you're trying to hit this thing, you're shooting the remote control 15 or 20 feet uh, to hit this receiver that's on the light. And uh, what I have found is that I often have to push the button two or three or four times before I get it to receive simply because I haven't aimed exactly where the receiver happens to be. But again, hang in there and eventually you will get the light to receive your signal. Okay, once I start looking at the buttons, where I want to start is right here in the center with this uh, icon that kind of looks like a radar tower or a radio transmitter. And this is the light, this is the button that in the uh, directions they call the radar sensor mode. And basically what this button does is it, it starts the, or puts the light in the automatic detection mode. It automatically detects light so that, for example, the light will come on at dusk and shut off at dawn when this button's been pressed. It also automatically detects motion. So if the light is not in full power mode, when it detects motion, it will jump up to the full uh, power mode for the duration of the time it detects motion. Then once the motion is gone, it drops back down to whatever power level was operating before that. Okay, now let's jump to the top. Uh, on and off button is pretty straightforward. If the light is currently off and you want it to turn on, you press the on button. Similarly, if the light is on and you want it to turn off, you press the off button. Uh, the only qualifier to this I want to point out is that the primary uh, driver here is that radar control button. So if you've pressed the radar control button, so it's automatically going to kick on at dusk. Uh, if you press the off button, that off button only keeps it off until the next time that the light detects dusk and it'll kick back on. So for example, if for whatever reason you don't want the light to be on for a few days, you have to go and press that off button every evening after the light comes on to get it to turn off again. Okay, if I drop down to the center console here, these buttons around the radar control button are to control the light's intensity. Uh, at the top is the um, basically the full sun, the full light. Um, if your light is not currently at full power mode or full intensity mode, press that button and it'll jump up to that level. On the bottom is, let's say for whatever reason you want the light to operate at half power, if you press the bottom button, it's going to operate at that half power. Uh, the plus and minus locations on the opposite sides of the button uh, basically, these are more granular controls over the intensity of the light. So if you want the light to be brighter than it currently is, you press the plus button and it'll gradually go to higher and higher levels up to full intensity. Uh, similarly, if you would like the light to be at a lower intensity that it's, than it's currently at, you press the minus button and the light will drop down to that lower level. Okay, then on the bottom of the controller, are uh, some specific light intensity level controls. Uh, for example, the 8H and 10H, what happens if you press those is that the light will kick on at dusk and then it will stay at full intensity for the number of hours on the button, eight or 10 hours. And then after that number of hours, the light will turn off. It doesn't wait until dawn. Uh, the buttons beneath that, the 3 plus, 5, 7, and 9, are kind of a variation of that. 
If you press one of those buttons, the, but the light will kick on at dusk and it'll stay at full intensity for three hours. Then after three hours, it will drop to uh, a lower level intensity, uh, typically around 30%, and remain at that lower level intensity for the five, the seven, or the nine hours unless motion is detected. If motion is detected, it will go to full power until there's no longer any motion when it drops back down to the uh, low intensity level. Uh, the only other variation on that is if the only button you press is the radar control button, the light will come on at dusk and it comes on at the lower level of intensity, about 30%. And it'll remain at that lower level of intensity until dawn, except for times when it detects motion. So if you want the light to uh, be dusk to dawn, but only get bright, full intensity, when motion is detected, you press that button, the radar control button, and no other buttons. That's all you need to do. Uh, one final thing I'll point out about the buttons is that once you've made a selection, the three plus or the eight hours or the, uh, or the dusk to dawn low intensity, it will remain, the light will remain in that mode until you press some other button that overrides it. And then finally, one thing um, I guess I forgot to point out is that when you're pointing the remote control at the light uh, and at the, you, if you don't know whether the light has received it or not, the light will actually blink. It gives you kind of an, a visual acknowledgement to, to let you know that uh, the control has been received. Okay, so that is my quick story on the operation of the remote control.